What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm playing Regigigas Weezing. Regigigas has the stats of a restricted Pokemon, so I'm gonna call this Regulation H, if that is what Regulation H is. I kind of think it might not be, but we'll see. Because we have both Regigigas and Calyrex Shadow, just one of the strongest restricteds. Basically, Weezing is here to turn off abilities, including Slow Start. Regigigas does some big damage, with its Covert Cloak being making it hard to slow down, and just Crush Gripping stuff, which, if the target's at full health, is basically the power of Double Edge without recoil, so it's really good. Then, once things are weakened up, Calyrex comes in on the back end, Astro Barrage's stuff, it's really nice. We've also got a classic combo here of Ogre Pond Incineroar, which I love, uh, and the Incineroar even has Ability Shield, so it can intimidate even with Weezing on the field which is really nice because it can combo with turning off Defiant or Guard Dog, and so you can actually intimidate an Okie Dogie or an Annihilate or a King Gambit or whatever. Last on this team, we got a Reggie Alecki with Electroweb, Thunderbolt, Reflect, Light Screen. I don't know if I'm going to be using that too much, but it's just a cool fast screen setter with a little bit of speed control. It works well with a Calyrex lead mode, uh, but I feel like I'm probably going to lead Regigigas as much as possible. So anyways, Thank you, Mr. Kurtastic, for making this team. Let's get playing. All right, we've got, oh, Lugia, Hisui Zork, Suicune, Rillaboom, Dragapult, and Heatran? You don't see none of this stuff these days. But anyway, what am I gonna do about it? Uh, Regigigas might throw a normal move at something and get blocked because it's actually a ghost. Giga's Weezing's still good. Giga's Weezing ain't bad, honestly. With Calyrex cleanup crew, Calyrex seems really strong. I don't think we're faster than Dragon. Oh, we're max speed. Yeah, we're faster than Dragapult. We're good. Okay, well that's a good thing. Do I want to lead it? No, because Zorark is immune. Which is really annoying. Um, Having a dark type with Snarl ain't bad. If I'm being honest. Uh, Ogre Pond kind of gets walled by Rillaboom. I don't know how important screens will be. They have, uh, their, their Restricted has a crit move. They don't have a lot of power either. Maybe screens might work, but I think it's Incineroar. We have Fake Out, we have Parting Shot. Those are, those are great. We can get all around good stuff going on with that. Just a little bit of damage reduction for the big hitters. Cool. Now, who are the biggest threats to Weezing? I don't think Zorark is that big of a threat, though it might have something weird like Taunt or Hyper Beam. But that would just be fun to see. You know what? Do it. Have Hyper Beam. Aw, oh, Shiny Charizard. Nice. Very cool. You can never go wrong with a Shiny Charizard. Lugia and Rillaboom. Or so they say. And abilities won't trigger, so we're not actually going to see which it is. Oh, actually we are, because that's how that works. Oh, that's great! Weezing, I didn't even know you did that! You were going to pretend Rillaboom was Zor? That was never going to work, dude. That was never going to work. <laughs> you were going to you were gonna disguise your Zorark as a Rillaboom. I would have seen the terrain not come out, you know, right? Okay. Well, we are going to Crush Grip this Lugia. And probably get Will-O-Wisp. But what can I really do about that? I'm gonna Crush Grip Lugia. And I'm gonna Taunt Zork. I know I'm going after Zork. Oh, Terra right away. What are you terrified of? Oh, steel! Whoa! Okay. Crazy. Well, now I really don't like if I get Will-O-Wisp. I am faster than Zor. That's interesting. Well, that wasn't going to do that much anyway, it looks like. And they just set up Calm Mind. Okay. Kind of wish I taunted you now. It's alright. I assume you got leftovers or something on that thing. No, you don't. Okay. 
So I'm gonna go for a high horsepower now. And I guess just protect? Because we know Zoroark has to attack. I don't want to get hit by a plus one arrow blast or anything. I think two high horsepowers can clean it from here. That took so little damage though from Crush Grip. Wow. Okay, that's good. No citrus? Weakness policy. That makes sense. That's not uncommon on that. Well, if you go after Gigas right here, you might be able to take him. Nope, just another Calm Mind. Uh, so it's probably Protect and then another Hyper Voice? Am I below a third of my health? Have you done enough damage to Hyper Voice me? Um, 62 is a third of my health? Yeah, I'm below that. Great! Uh, but I'm faster than you, so it doesn't actually matter too much. I could throw a knockoff here. No, I have to throw the high horsepower, because if they get a recover with Lugia, then I lose. Like, yeah, they could protect Lugia here. They didn't! Okay, I'm glad I went for that play then. Getting rid of Lugia is worth losing Regigigas. I have another Restricted in the bag. It's another Hyper Voice. Weezing's almost gone now. Uh, we know they have Rillaboom. We don't know what their last is. I want to go Incineroar here first. Soften some stuff up for when Calyrex comes in. Maybe see what their fourth Pokemon is. Suicune. Okay, we know them all. Shiny Suicune. Nice. Let's drop a Snarl to soften you both up. And I think I'm okay with losing Weezing now. Taunt Suicune. Uh, Suicune just protected. Okay. What's Zora gonna do? Just more Hyper Voice spam? Yeah. I'm wondering if it's choiced into that or something. Neutralizing Goss from Gas wears off, but who cares? You have Inner Focus and Illusion. Zork is no longer taunted. Do you guys think they have Shadow Ball access or are they choiced into Hyper Voice? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I should just Terra the horse, right? Yeah, I should. I should just Snarl still. Terra Fairy. Nasty plot. That's what I need to do. Because Astral Barrage isn't going to KO either of them. Zork especially. Uh, Draining Kiss might take Zork from here, but... I mean, I guess that's not a bad play. Get a plus one. And also take out Zork so that it can't... Yeah, I don't know. It's at minus one, and I'm no longer weak to anything it has. If it's locked into Hyper Voice and just keeps Hyper Voicing, that's a cool play, I guess. No, they just protect. They are not choice. Get our nasty plot. Unfortunately, we're probably slower than Suicune, so they might like snarl us back or even Tailwind. It is Tailwind. But getting a drop on Suicune is nice here too. I want to KO you on the last turn of Tailwind or after Tailwind ends. So hopefully I can stall out long enough for that. Because a Tailwinded Rillaboom that you have in the back is kind of scary to Calyrex. So I'm going to go ahead not KO Zoro, parting shots into Suicune. 
and just protect Tower X. If I can make these things not a threat, that would be fantastic. Okay, it is Hyper Voice. Hopefully that doesn't do too much to Ensign. Uh, it's a little bit annoying. Uh, they're throwing their own snarls. That's good. Throw your snarls. I don't care. And because it was a slow tailwind, it's going to be easier to stall out. Because the turn you set it is basically wasted. You pretty much went last. Uh, now, you living in Astral Barrage is entirely possible. Two turns of Tailwind. Yeah, I'll Snarl here. No, I will Flare Blitz to get rid of Zork. And throw my first Astral Barrage, finally. Yeah, I think this is fine. This works. You get your Hyper Voice off, it doesn't do too much, you're at minus one. Astral Barrage, what? It doesn't affect Zork? No way. Oh, too much damage into Suicune. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Good crit, Calyrex. Thank you very much. Can take you out. Goodbye, Zor. Nice. Now, I guess it's not over. Like, they could glide crit, right? I guess it depends. Um, I'm gonna protect the last turn of Tailwind for sure. They can probably read that and take out my Ensign. Which is annoying, sure, but whatever. Yeah, well last turn of Tailwind, plus three special attacks should be plenty. I'll get a parting shot off if they attack Calyrex. Plus, I'll get a little bit of grassy terrain recovery, which I appreciate. Yeah, they just go for the wood hammer right there. Wow, okay. They knew that's like, this is my last turn of tail when this is my last chance. So they knew what they had to do. So I, I respect that play. That's a perfectly valid play, even though I feel like it was obvious I was going to protect there, but me, you gotta, you gotta take the throw. If I were to throw there, that's probably better than Okoing with Grassy Glide. Honestly, I'm much more likely to make a mistake than you are to Oko me with Grassy Glide from here. That's fair. All right, click here. I don't even remember what I clicked. I, I, I hope I clicked the attack button. You're thinking, thinking real hard. You gotta crit the glide, you're at minus one. So a crit glide is like your way. Crit glide into, I don't know, just hit Incineroar. Incineroar might KO itself here. Click glide. Do, oh, didn't even click glide. Are they choice band or something? No, then you would have glided the whole time. Hmm, okay. Well done, horse. You cleaned up for the Regigigas, who didn't do much, but but he eliminated a restricted, actually. No, Regigigas did great. They got too greedy with that Lugia, and Regigigas got him. Love your card, B. All right, what do we have here? Whoo, Origin Palkia. The rest of their team is cooking too. Oh my goodness, Arboliva, Gallade, Frostmoth, the King Gambit, and of course, Seraledge, who is so cool. Wow. That's two possible wide guard users and a dark type to ruin Calyrex's day. I like wheezing because I can potentially use Incineroar to intimidate that King Gambit, which I think would be really funny. Do I use Gigas? Yes. So I bring wheezing. And I wanted Incineroar, and I wanted Calyrex. Ogre Pond? Its water moves are a quarter on their restricted, half on their Arbolova. Incineroar does do a little better into King Gambit, believe it or not. Cerule Edge can get taken out by a barrage. 
Yeah, Incineroar also does better into Arboliva, who's immune to Astral Barrage. So no, this is the way it has to be. Incineroar is also better into Frostmoth, who can Wide Guard. It's bad into Gallade, though. Gallade, Wide Guard, kind of annoying. Double Wide Guards, a normal type, a de- mm. Maybe just Regigigas will be the one to win the game for me, though. Who knows? And nice card. Well done. That is a good trainer card. Maybe not top 10 or anything, but it's good. Cerulege Gallade. Cool. Um, am I gonna have to burn Terra? Yeah, probably. Burn the Gallade. Burn it. Burn the Gallade. Knock off the Sarah Ledge. Yeah? Yeah. Do it. Go. I didn't really think about it before, but this could be a Trick Room team. Our Bolivar's really slow. Gallade gets Trick Room. I... Palkia gets Trick Room, though it's way too fast. Regikig is for the heart on his head. This is for the Sacred Sword specifically. Because that would do a ton of damage and they could pretty easily be faster than we Knockoff does a lot, but not all of it. They have leftovers. They're a bulk upset. Yeah, there you go. Cool. And I can't will wisp you because you're a fire type, but you don't have flash fire right now. Psycho Cut does a ton of damage to Weezing. Ouch. But I land the will o wisp Beautiful. Ah, oh, so I burned my Terra for nothing? That's so sad. Several Edge needs to go. I think Knockoff finishes it, right? Could switch to High Horsepower. Is that safer? Not really. The accuracy scares me. And, like, they could Terra, but their Terra would be grass. I gotta protect Weezing. I'm too low. Sacred Sword will take me here. They are going for Terra. Does it resist Dark? I think if you're neutral to Dark, I still knock you out. Oh, you do resist Dark! Beautiful Terra. I will Will-O-Wisp you if I get the chance, but beautiful. That does not do nearly enough. Psycho Cut blocked, that's good at least. But now you're gonna Bitter Blade and heal up all your lost health. Yes, you are. Yikes. Alright, I have some options. I could bring an Ensign on either slot. I'm not confident in it saving Weezing. I think I protect Gigas. and bring in Incineroar here. Let's see, I know I can intimidate the Sarah Ledge, which is nice. Yeah, I've got slow start now, I'll, I'll deal with it. The Gallade could be clear amulet, but if not, they're now burned and minus one. They are clear amulet, makes sense. And they just protect, okay. You weren't gonna do any damage with Psycho Cut anyway. Protecting myself here. And Bitter Blade. Nice. Um, now what? Now I go into Calyrex and fake out the Sarah Ledge. They don't have a fake out blocker, right? No, they do not. So yeah, I'm gonna get in Calyrex now. Fake out the Saru Ledge. Probably gonna take a Sacred Sword for my troubles, but you're burned, it's not that bad. I just don't wanna get hit on this side. Yep, nice little fake out. Nice little flinch. 
ouchy little sacred sword. It does a lot more than it should. Are you gonna wide guard? That's the million dollar question here. What ghost move do you potentially have? If any. I've got too many questions. I need to I need to do something else. I think I'd protect go into wheezing? I don't know. No, I think I'm gonna draining kiss. And go into Gigas. I may lose Gigas, but that gives me a free back into Ensign. And Draining Kiss should do a bunch with Life Orb and Swigalade. Yeah, it is Wide Guard. Called that from a mile away. I just didn't have the damage to KO Serilege. And it's Shadow Sneak. Which we take. Not super comfy with it, but we took it. Perfect, now I can just go into Ensign and protect, and then get a fake out off. You could read that, maybe, and go for a Sacred Sword here. Bitterblade and Shadow Sneak isn't gonna do anything. And I do like all the health I got back there, that was nice. Ooh, this is a spicy match. They've got a lot of cool Pokemon on the field, meaning they're two leads, which have been doing way too much work. <laughs> they need to go. Sooner rather than later. Delayed isn't gonna be around too much longer, at least. So there's that. Sarah Light Shadow Sneak, of course you do. And then what, Psycho Cut? Yeah. Does not affect Incinema. Fine. Wide Guard, Sacred Sword, Psycho Cut. Sarah Ledge should have Protect, right? Do I have any way around a Shadow Sneak? I think I got a Draining Kiss Fake out here. Just to get rid of Gallade. I can worry about Sarah Ledge later, because later I might be able to Parting Shot off of it. This way I prevent them from Sacred Sorting into my Ensign. I don't know. That Sarah Ledge is pretty strong. Yeah, they protect there. Do they protect both? They do not protect both. Okay. So then it is going to be a Shadow Sneak and a Sacred Sword. Sacred Sword, I would rather Gigas take. Weezing takes the Shadow Sneak. Gigas takes the Sacred Sword. That should be fine. <laughs> I'll come back with the horse later, don't you worry. Oh boy, all my Pokemon are now so low, they're gonna come in and sweep me with their Palkia, right? It's gotta be right. And then that reveals my ability shield, even though that's not important there. Gigas is back in. Alright, do you read any of this? It's just a Shadow Sneak. We take that pretty breezily. Just a Sacred Sword. We also take that really well. Delayed is not out of it. So I may be able to get a Will-O-Wisp on Sarah Ledge. That would be great. Meanwhile, I will knock off Delayed. If they attack Weezing with Bitter Blade, that's risky. 
You know, I could just protect Weezing here. Should probably go after Regigigas. Regigigas is a threat. Yeah. I think they'll go after Regigigas with Bitter Blade. But they're taking their time. They're thinking about it. They're in a pretty good position, though. That is my first KO. And I guess they haven't taken any yet. They could take one here. It could be a big one, too. Get rid of your clear amulet. Bitter Blade. It's into Gigas. Oh, and we eat it! Oh, that's great. I love that. Now, connect the Will-O-Wisp, please. Yeah, there we go. Oh, if only I had done that a long time ago. Love it. All right, Sarah Ledge is a lot less scary now. It's minus one, I think. Bulk up in a couple intimidates. Oh. <laughs> but both of my mons are in pretty easy pickoff range. Yeah, they're at minus one. I guess the question is, who do I want to give them on this slot? Do I want to keep wheezing around? or give them something. Because I want to keep wheezing around, I mean, right? No. Maybe. Maybe. Sludge Bomb Palkia. No. Sludge Bomb Serilege. Oh, I probably should have Sludge Bomb Serilege that turn, honestly. And I'll go for a Crush Grip on Palkia. I don't think I'm going to get that, though. Um, could that slot, I could that slot could have been into Incineroar, but I don't want to keep around Regigigas anymore. Regigigas, you did great. And then what, your dragon move? Yeah, Spatial Ren. Such a cool move. Neutralizing gas is gone, you've got pressure, okay. That flash fire does not help your burn. Alright, I get a fake out onto something. I believe I can take a Shadow Sneak from here. I don't like the idea that I may have to. Yeah, I think what I have to do is fake out Astral Barrage. But the Astral... fake out into Palkia. Can I take Life Orb Chip and a Shadow Sneak? I better. Because I'm not going to Oko a Palkia. I could also Draining Kiss Palkia here, but that just lets them Shadow Sneak twice. Which is not a good idea. Uh, I guess I could have also... Next turn I could like Protect Snarl or something. But Cerulege, like Incineroar can't knock out Cerulege. Unless Weezing's on the field so I can Flare Blitz. Cerulege is swapping. They must have a darker normal type here, right? No, it's their wide guard. Ah, interesting. Well, this chip will be really nice. He brought another wide guard. That took no damage. Wow. You're gonna need to get Flare Blitz real quick. Alright. Draining Kiss, because I know you're gonna wide guard. Flare Blitz, because you're four times weak to it. Frostmoth took that like a champ! Wow! That's the Ice Scales doubling its special defense. That thing can really take some special hits. That thing can take flamethrowers in the right circumstances. Ooh, not like a sun-boosted choice specs terrifier Charizard flamethrower. Not that the Charizard I used the other day had flamethrower. Uh, protect from Palkia. And then... That blocks the Draining Kiss. What are you going for? Is it Icy Wind? Oh, that's a great play if it is. Terra Blast. We eat that. We're good. I think we might win. Uh, we do have to take the Shadow Sneak. But Palkia seems to be in barrage range. Cinderor has gone. <laughs> uh, no, it's a burned Shadow Sneak. I don't think we take it.
I don't think so, because what we got him at neutral did about... Oh no, neutral did about that much. Oh no, it'll be close. I think it'll be close. The Palkia just protected. They could protect Ledge to get more Life Orb Chip off the Palkia. I don't want them to allow them to do that. Because if they protect Ledge here, they can get Life Orb Chip when I hit Palkia. No, they don't, they're not going for that, okay. Because I want to take the Life Orb Chip when I take out your Pokemon. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Okay, I just got wrecked. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh How how what's the chance of five protects in a row? I mean Palkia can miss. That's a better odds, actually. We take a Shadow Sneak, because they go for Shadow Sneak for some reason. It's probably stronger. And then Palkia misses with whatever move it does. Wow! They got me. Was I gonna live this anyway? No, I wasn't gonna live it anyway, it's fine. Okay. Oh, good game. Cool team you got there. So cool. Man. GG's. Okay, we've got Fire Pond, Terrapagos, Iron Hands, Fluttermane, Amoongus, Urshifu, presumably Water. That's, uh, that's some Metamons. And the Terrapagos, which is a terrible matchup for Calyrex. Oh my goodness. Uh, but Weezing should be able to turn off the shell, which is nice. Very nice. What's my answer into Amoongus? It's Ogre Pond. So this is an Ogre Pond game. Ogre Pond and... Ogre Pond and Weezing just has Taunt. That doesn't do anything. Don't have a fighting move. Ogre Pond Insin is interesting. Do I have Electroweb on this thing? That's not bad either. Maybe it's Ogre Pond Screens Insin. Still Calyrex though? I can't even use Astral Barrage on the Terrapagos. I don't know how I'm getting through Terrapagos. No, it's gotta be a Weezing Gigas game. Yeah, it's Weezing Gigas. Ogre Pond, Incineroar, no Calyrex. Oh boy, was that a mistake? Maybe. <laughs> that may have been a mistake. But Regigigas is my restricted, let's be real. In a matchup like this, Regigigas is way better than Calyrex. And they got a little Mew, aw, adorable. Okay, not a shiny Mew or anything, but a Mew. Terrapagos Iron Hands. Alright, you're getting burnt. You're getting intimidated and burned. No. You are getting... You're getting knocked off. You're getting Will-O-Wisp. You can fake out if you want to. But I'm still gonna get something done here. And it's knocking off a power herb. Well, you're not gonna be able to do that anymore. That's good. I think I should take what damage I can get on the Terrapagos now with Crush Grip and just Will-O-Wisp the Iron Hands. They're going for Meteor Beam? You don't have the thing! Free turn. Good damage, too. Love it. They're going for Meteor Beam anyway. They're crazy. Not even a pivot move, just Drain Punch. Okay. Uh, I do have to worry, like, the Meteor Beam is gonna hit me now. 
but I think I just throw two moves into Terrapagos because I know it can't move. And take it out. That does not Oko Weezing. My horsepower connects. Not enough. Sludge Bomb connects. Is enough. Goodbye, Terrapagos. The scariest thing. Alright. I mean, hey guys, don't Meteor Beam if you don't have your power. Yeah, you're gonna get a free Drain Punch. I, that's worth it. I lost most of my Gigas, but you lost your Restricted. Well, I didn't bring a Restricted. <laughs> but you also lost a lot of your Iron Hands here. I guess I could have Terra'd Gigas in that turn. But I like that I saved Terra. Who do you got there? Fluttermane? Okay. I like Terra on Ogre Pond. If I can get through with that. I don't know who their last would be though. No point in protecting Gigas. Because if Weezing goes down, there's no point in having it. We'll go for a knockoff onto Fluttermane. And a Sludge Bomb into Fluttermane. I'm faster than Fluttermane. They're going for Trick Room. And they're gonna get it. <laughs> but the poison for their for their uh, troubles there. Okay. Alright. That's something for sure. I'm gonna go into Insin now and fake out Sludge Bomb. Uh, you I can have your Trick Room if you want. This person's been playing very strangely. Not sure what you really gain from Trick Room. I guess you might have a Moongus left, but... Sure. Fine. Incineroar. 100% Incineroar here. That's the freest fake-out Sludge Bomb I've ever seen. Yes, that's right, I get to use my ability and you don't. Not that you were using it anyway. I mean, you could have booster energy on that Fluttermane. Who knows? Amoongus? Urshifu? Fire Pond. I... Those are... Amoongus is the only slow one, and Amoongus doesn't win end games. So, fake out the Iron Hands. Sludge Bomb the Fluttermane. No swaps. No protects. Just a goodbye Fluttermane. Alrighty then. <laughs> okay! I'm a little confused, but... I'm sure you got a plan here. I'm sure you've got- oh, you think I have Shadow Rider. That's true. Ooh, it's Urshifu. Which one? Water Shifu. You really think I have the other thing, don't ya? You do. I'm going to Parting Shot out from Urshifu. Because you're going to go for Surging Strikes there. Oh, I can also Terra. I'm just going to Parting Shot and Will-O-Wisp the Urshifu here. Yeah, Drain Punch into Insane. Yeah, I wasn't worried about that doing much damage anyway. But Parting Shot will cover for them if they if they go for like a Sucker... Oh, uh, not a Sucker Punch, sorry. A Close Combat into my Ogre Pond. Because they should be very unhappy to see that I have an Ogre Pond as my last. <laughs> like, I, I guess they're not Scarf, because if they're Scarf, I don't know why you would set Trick Room. Because that would be faster than Calyrex anyway. We connect the Will-O-Wisp. Let's go, Weezing. Weezing, you've been connecting these Will-O-Wisps. I'm proud of you. I'm real proud of you. And yeah, the ability's turned off because of Weezing, so I don't- I'm not immune to that, but- I mean, look at that damage. I'm immune to that. I'm basically immune to that damage there. If I'm being honest. Uh, I could pivot Incineroar back in, but there's no point in risking it. I'm just gonna Horn Leech, if that's the grass move I have, this Urshifu, and be done with him. And start throwing Sludge Bombs over this way. Yeah. I like it. 
And Urshifu, if you are Scarfed, you're going to be faster than Ogre Pond, so I get to go first anyway. So, good luck, I guess. I can also protect on you because of Weezing being out here, but there's no reason to do that. Yeah, if I had stayed in, like, what was Incineroar going to really do? Not much. <laughs> Just like that, the Iron Hands is doing. Not much. And I will heal it all back off the Zershifu in a second. Okay, they're not Scarf at least. 52, 37, I'll take the last one. No problem. Yummy! Oh, you're not gone. Well, you you are gone. The Will-O-Wisps gotcha. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this one, because I don't really get it. I don't know what their plan was here, but it looks like I have an endgame lockdown. They were not Scarf Urshifu. But they were willing to go for another Surging Strikes. And then now I just... What's the Trick Room situation? Last turn? Yeah, I will just Ivy Cudgel. And bring in Incineroar. And they're gonna keep playing. They are playing this out. Wow. I've got my water absorbed back, not that that matters. Shiny Ultra Ball Ensign? Mm, that's a weird choice to me, I don't know. I guess maybe if it was bread. Yeah, what? Well, <laughs> you need crits, and even crits aren't gonna KO Iron Hands. <laughs> yeah, Ivy Cudgel did a good amount of damage, you're gone. You're out of here. Let's... Let's hit him with the big bonk. Let's hit him with the real... Let's hit him with the really big bonk. If they want to stay in and take this, they're gonna have to take the really big bonk. Right? If you want to mess around and waste my time when you could have forfeited like five turns ago... I'm surprised they didn't forfeit when they pulled a meteor beam off with no power herb. Like, once you clicked that and realized what you did. But anyway, uh, pipe falling effect number two, I think it is. Yeah, yeah, number two. Okay, there we go. Bye, Iron Hands. <laughs> GG. <laughs> you wanted it. And that was a game without our restricted. Huh. GG's. Okay, Wally, that's a cool restricted you got there in Giratina origin form. Uh, you've also got a Chiyu, that's a threat to Calyrex. You've got Okie Dogie, you've got Hitmontop, that could have Wide Guard, Tornadus, and Rillaboom. Rillaboom? Supporting a Levitating restricted? Okay, if you say so. Uh, Gigas seems alright. They do have two fighting types. And I can't knock off the Giratina's item, and the high horsepower doesn't hit it. But if it's physical, Weezing can burn it, which is nice. Incineroar can intimidate all those things with Weezing on the field. I actually really like that combo. I will lead Gigas Weezing. I'll bring Incineroar. Sorry, Aleki, I haven't really been using you, but this isn't the match for you either. Um, Ogre Pawn is mid. It's Calyrex. Uh, I have to get rid of Chiyu. Chiyu is probably the most important thing to stop. Uh, saving Terra would also be nice, if I can. Ooh, Vaporeon. Good choice. If I can save Terra for Calyrex, I will try to. Yeah, this is gonna have to be a Protect Will-O-Wisp. Because otherwise I'm gonna be burning Terra on Gigas right away. And Tornadus could taunt me, in which case, neutral turn, nothing happens. Okay, it's Tailwind. That's fine. I expected you to Tailwind. It's a Drain Punch. That's fine. It's exactly what I expected. Good. And a Connect with the Will-O-Wisp. Good job, Weezing, who I just realized is shiny. I think that's Gigas is, too. Who's the Shiny Hunter? Alright, Dogie, you are burnt, and so you are not as big of a threat. Crush Grip maxes out at 120. 120 with Stab is 180. 
95 times 2 is 190. So high horsepower is stronger than crush grip anyway. I don't have to worry about the little bit of chip lowering the power. High horsepower. And... No, I can't get rid of wheezing right now. High horsepower. That would be the biggest throw, swapping wheezing to ensign, because then the okie dokie would have guard dog back. I'm just going to protect. I don't see much for wheezing to do right here. I don't necessarily think I'm getting attacked, but I could get bleak winded. It's possible. Yeah, it is a bleak wind, okay. Wheezing was probably going to dodge anyway. But Gigas did not. Ooh, big damage. Rain Punch. Uh, you can't get my speed drop there, but you're already faster. Because I'm on Covert Cloak. Big high horsepower. Bonk. Good damage. Uh, do I think Burn Chip plus Sludge Bomb can take that? Maybe. We'll find out. Do I wish I had Gunk Shot? No. I prefer Sludge Bomb. Alright, now I'm protecting that slot. Go ahead and hit my wheezing with the bleak wind this time. Fine. Kinda wish I had citrus berry. I haven't really had to worry about Oh well, citrus berry wouldn't have helped. They would have knocked it off. But it's just goggles. And that does not do enough. Uh What's the tailwind situation? This is the last turn. the last turn. So I can bring in Calyrex, and as long as you don't get a speed drop, I can take you out, because I can taunt you here. So you can't get another Tailwind up. No, this seems nice. I like this. This could work. You can't eat your berries, not that you had any. Just don't speed drop my Calyrex, please. Thank you. Which means I get my taunt on. Oh, oh yeah. Dogie is not out yet. But Tailwind ends at the perfect time. Uh, now, do I give them Weezing? Do I protect Weezing? Do I swap in Ensign here? No, I think I just throw Astral Barrage. Torn should be able to eat that, honestly. Do I give them Gigas? No. No, I, I'm happy with Weezing being on the field, honestly. I'm gonna Astral Barrage. Just protect Weezing. Oh, they just hard swap their Tornadus. Okay. I'd rather hit something else. Cool. Uh, Chiyu? Maybe not. Doesn't matter. But hey, the free KO and the free damage onto Chiyu, I'll take it. I'm guessing you're gonna go right back into Tornadus now, though. Uh, Chiyu could also be Scarf. I haven't burned Terra yet, but I would assume you want to save Terra for your Restricted. Who should be your last Pokemon. Well, not your last last Pokemon. You've got another Pokemon. You have Tornadus. Oh, it is Tornadus! bring Ensign in here and go for a Sludge Bomb on Chiyu. I'd probably lose Weezing, but it's not the biggest deal. In fact, losing Weezing might be okay. Uh, I'm a little worried about how much Bleak Wind will do with Beads of Ruin to my Calyrex. Uh, they did Snarl, okay. I expected you to take out Weezing, I'm not mad. Honest, I'm not mad. Neutralizing gas is gone, you've got your beads back. And you did tailwind. 
So it does look like Chiyu was scarfed into that. Which I think is okay, actually. Believe it or not. You're probably expecting a fake-out Astral Barrage and hoping Bleakwin can take out Calyrex. I would rather snarl. And protect. Weaken up your Chiyu so that when it tries to snarl me, it doesn't do nothing through my Terra. And fade out your Terra. You got Terra Ghost? You got Terra Ghost on that little fishy? Oh, you got Terra Ghost on the little fishy fish? Oh, I saw that coming, dude. Oh, it's too bad. That's too bad you got a little fishy fish with Terra Ghost. <laughs> okay, now this game's still not over. In fact, could, I could still very easily lose this. Bleakwind might just be enough. Uh, we saw that they weren't mental herb. They could be Covert Cloak, and which means I don't get my Snarl down on their Tornadus. Which would be pretty annoying. Oh no, my Incineroar special attack. That actually matters. I'm Snarling. Hmm. And you connect that too. Alright. Ooh, that does so much damage. Come on, please drop Tornadus as well. It does not. Ugh. That doesn't help. Yikes. Alright, well, I either eat this or I don't. And dodging Bleak Wind is perfectly valid here. So here we go. I don't know. I don't think I eat the Bleak Wind, if I'm being honest. And if I do, it's in Life Orb Knocks Me Out range. Would Draining Kiss have helped? No. I'm not confident in Draining Kiss at minus one doing anything. Get their Snarl. Puts me down to 69 HP. Somebody's gotta dodge, right? Oh? Uh? Yeah! Calyrex! Good dodge, Calyrex. I know you're at minus one, but you got Beads of Ruin on your side. So come on. Make this count. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, so close. How those Tailwind turns looking? And we're back up to neutral, but we're so low health. And Regigig. Oh, Regigigas could probably knock out Tornadus from here. Uh, and their last is definitely Giratina, of course. Who I can Astral Barrage if I can get into position 2. Getting into position 2 is not going to be easy. It's the last turn of Tailwind. My win condition is... They don't attack Regigigas. Or they miss Bleakwind or I live Bleakwind. And I get the knockoff on Tornadus, preventing Tailwind from going back up. And I protect Calyrex. Now they see that coming. They should still Bleakwind. I don't think they're safe to attack Gigas. No, I think they can't risk it. They need to double into Calyrex. I think that's what they have to do. And that's what I'm predicting them to do. If they do something else, or if they do take out Gigas with Bleak Wind, then good game. This has been a good game either way. And you're using an awesome Restricted. Oh no, Reggie Gigas goes down! That's game over. Good game. Oh boy. Shadow Force! Uh, you would have vanished before I attack. If you Tailwind, you'll come back first. Wow. I guess I Draining Kiss Tornadus, because <laughs> maybe the little healing will save me from a Shadow Force. Oh, they are going for Bleak Windstorm here. Wow. Oh, what could I have done there? Nothing. They would have disappeared before I attacked. There was no way I was getting around that. That was the move. And then there was nothing. Regigigas couldn't win this in the end. Wow. Alright, let's hope that little healing up to 47 saves me from this signature powerful, very scary move. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, man. Good game, Giratina. Ooh. 
Calyrex Shadow is strong, but it's not like brainless to use. It's it's definitely beatable. Good game, Wally. And we're back. We fought some fun stuff today. Lugia, Palkia, Meteor Beam, Terrapagos. At least they tried to Meteor Beam. Oh, uh, no, they got a Meteor Beam off. It's true, they did. And Giratina, oh. What? I feel kind of bad, because I brought the boring Calyrex. Though I did bring Regigigas. Regigigas was the restricted. And I had a blast with it. I hope you enjoyed too. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, I'm Jordy. And uh, alright, peace.